Hey guys, Lex here, back for some more Nino Kuni. Last time, uh, we were having trouble getting here, and, uh, yeah, let's go to Kesuiko, finally. Jeepers! Castaway Cove, haven of half-dressed harmony. Stop, thief! Huh? A thief? Where? That man, he ran off with a huge pot. Come back here, you must pay! Someone has to stop him! It's daylight robbery! You're not going to let him get away with, are you, Holly Boy? No way, we need to go after him. That's the spirit. Proper brave you are, man. No wonder you passed them trials. <laughs> I knew you'd say that, Oliver. Let's chase down that criminal. Alright, Len, come on! You are from outside here, I think. P <laughs> Please tell me about the long sleeve shirts. Are they uncomfortable? I thought that kid up there was a, a thief. Once again, it is he, that blasted thief. Can I just go rest? Phew, it is accursedly hot today. Perhaps I should swim out onto the edge of the cove. It may be somewhat cooler there. Well, the slightest glow ship hall has broken the whole Mamuni record. Yesterday, father caught the largest dumb flounder he had ever seen, but it got away. Yes, yes, this is the future. Gee, ma'am, you sure do seem happy. No doubt I do. I have successfully visualized a swimsuit more elegant than anything that has come before it. More as a designer, no joy is comparable. <laughs> I need only acquire materials and my vision shall be realized. Aha, perhaps you could help. Oh, uh, us, really? Yes, yes, would you be something for me, perhaps? In the name of ancients and all that is elegant. My new swimsuit design requires certain material that is rare, but by no means unobtainable. I wonder if you could fetch it for me, perhaps? Guess why Kof designer lacks the materials required to realize her striking new swimsuit concept. Sure. Oh, thank you, it is rainbow leaves that I acquire. These are usually carried by florets. Three should suffice, I think. What's a floret? Keep up, Holly Boy! There are creatures that roam the shimmering sands, ain't they? You must have seen a couple. The thing with the rainbow leaves, though. Ah, this fairy knows his fashion, I think. There is indeed an additional complication. The rainbow leaves that care floret carries must be cooled down before you pick them up. They will otherwise melt before your very eyes. This makes life difficult, I realize, but the designer lot is nothing ever didn't easy. But how are you meant to cool them down if the floors are holding them? Oh, what's that feisty spell you got again? Frostbite, is it? Try knocking the floors out with that. You should keep the leaves nice and cool, I reckon. Sounds like a plan, Mr. Trippy. Let's give it a try. Okay. I needed to grind anyway. Welcome to Castaway Cove, travelers. You are fond of our town, perhaps? It is, I think, a very nice way of life we have here. You should stay up for a while. Oh. Mm. Uh, I need to rest anyway. Pud? <laughs> yeah. Nice. Welcome to one of the crowd. Cradle chain of premium bids. We pride ourselves on practicality and pricing. Yeah, we need a rest. Many thanks. I shall prepare for your fate is sweet. It is a haven of simple luxury, gently cooled by the sea breeze. We may find some of our other guests to be of a somewhat rough or even practical persuasion, but please pay them no heed. <sighs> Did your wizard command just wrestle the boy? Eh? Oh, what's this that looks like the memories of a seafarer who have stayed here have restored one of its pages in it? ID. The Lost Continent. I haven't looked at my book in a while. I don't think I looked at the last boss yet either. 
Yeah, I need to save. Trust you had it a perfect night's sleep? I guess. Oh shit, there's a chest. No, I wanted to go up to the chest. Ooh, nice. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's see what's here. Oh, wait, he's a shopkeeper? Oh. Yeah, from outside of here, I think. Please tell me where. Oh, yeah. Alright, talk to her. Your head. You come from Ding Dong Dell, perhaps. I hear that it is a fine city, if a little dull. Go here first. Talk to the dude. Oh. Welcome to Swift Solutions, where those indeed come to watch their worries fly away. Thieving creatures have been attacking cargo ships. The crime tree. An enormous sea monster has been attacking fishing vessels. Ooh, is that a new spear? A team of researchers have been attacked by huge monsters. Shore, southeastern Summerlands. What the hell? Okay. Okay, southeastern. Hey. We got some money. Wait, what do you say? Oh. This board. New errands. So I already have this swoop suit. Fisherman standing by Quayside. There's one other quest. Ah, what perfect weather. I can only hope that the ancient bless us further with a still sea and a bounteous catch. I trust the sea is in fine spirits today, father. Vicky. Ah, there is no place like one's hometown. The fact that we live and work together is a source of great comfort, dear brother. I do not know what I would do without your friendship and guidance. Yeah. She... Uh... Hmm, what should I prepare for her tonight, I wonder? Are you cooking dinner, miss? Indeed I am. There is an old lady who lives alone near here. You see, I assist her with domestic tasks and so on. So you're her maid then, huh? Ho ho ho, no, nothing like that. It's merely something that I choose to do. The old lady, she cared for me when I was a child. I am merely repaying the very many favors she performed for me. There aren't a lot of people who do that kind of thing without asking for a single gilder in return, you know. This one's got more kindness in her little finger than most folks have got in their whole body. Oh, excuse me, miss. Were you wondering if you'd be able to help us with something? Would you require my assistance? That's right. We were hoping you'd be able to share a little bit of your kindness with us. There's somebody who needs it, you see. Hmm. If you will if you'll help someone who is in need, how could I possibly refuse? Thank you very much, miss. Mine crush. Warm fuzzy gift of generosity. Days of kindness. The thought that I might help someone gives me the greatest satisfaction. Who's this? Okay, that's the old lady. With the blessings of the ancients, I shall return with a basket full of glow shrimp. It is glow shrimp season. You know at this time, they are at their plump, most plump and plentiful. Many people. 
Father, what is a long sleeve shirt? Father told me that when he lived in a city named Hamlin, he had to wear heavy armor at all times. Now that he has moved to Castleway Cove, he has no need for such things. He keeps them under his the bed uh, alongside his periodicals. Two bunches of bananas, a nice crispy lettuce. That should make for a hearty meal. Fresh fruits, vibrant vegetables, the finest in all of the summer lids. It pleases me to see you so full of courage, but still you must remain cautious, I think. Uh huh. First. Third. Fishburger. What wonderful weather a sign from the ancients that I am due a bountiful haul, perhaps. So you're full you're a fisherman, huh? I most certainly am, and I am just about to head out to sea. Aren't you a bit worried about all the monsters that have popped out around here then? Monsters, ha. Huh. No fisherman worthy of his name would give such trifling concerns about its thought. You're not scared of monsters? Of course not. Why, I have already survived one monster attack. I drove those creatures away then, and if necessary, I shall do the very same thing again. The big up, man! You can almost smell the orange on this one. You sure can. Excuse me, sir. We'd like to ask you a favor. A favor, but I must set sail soon, lest I miss the fair winds and the bountiful halls they bring. Oh, it's only gonna take a second. We just want to borrow a little bit of your courage. My courage, certainly. It's not something I lack. Take as much as you wish. Thank you, Mr. Fisherman, sir. Let's go. The stout and sturdy force of fearlessness. You obtain some courage. Oh, you are finished already? That uh, tingling sensation in my chest. That was my harp, perhaps. Right. My uncle is the greatest sailor Castaway Cove has ever seen. He taught Captain Simba all he knows. Curses, what is this affliction I suffer? Uh, are you okay? You don't look so good. I've always been a man of sea. Becoming a fisherman it was my only ambition ever since I was a babe in arms. And indeed, I was recently able to finally acquire my very own vessel. Oh wow, that's great, congratulations! I am grateful for your words, but uh... I suddenly find myself the most terribly afraid of the ocean, the ocean I've always loved. I simply cannot bring myself to fishing, and what has become of me I don't know. A fisherman who's suddenly scared of the sea? Mr. Trippy, it sounds like he's a boss! Read the task, Casaway goes and has suddenly become scared of the sea, and refuses to get in the boat. Broken heart and it, lacking courage, he is no doubt about it. You go help him out, golly boy. Sure am, I mean, just, he just got his own boat. Right you are, then let's see if we can find some courage for our fisherman friend. Uh, give. Hmm? Oh, pressed be the ancients. Courage swells within my breast once again more. Hito, you're so not so scared of the sea anymore. Not in the slightest. Indeed, I shall take the Hooter waves forthwith. Ah, but first I must show my gratitude. Please accept this by way of thanks. Yeah. Yeah. It's mm. another one of those. Damn it. There's no escape. Give back what you stole. What I stole? What are you on about? What do you mean, what am I all about? That green big pot, of course. Pot? Oh, this thing. What's wrong with him, Mon? It's like he doesn't even remember sealing it. <laughs> what do I want with this piece of rubbish? If you want it, it's yours. Huh? Ah, ah, ah. I'm sure it will make you very happy. See ya! What the? What was all that about? Why would he steal something and then just throw it away like that? What an idiot. Yes, what would he... Why would he? What was he thinking? I don't recall he was thinking at all, Mon. 
Huh? What do you mean? Well, he ain't bothered by what he steals. It's just the stealing he's in and for, ain't it? You mean he just is stealing for its own sake? Yeah, that's about the size of it. I'm no expert, mind. If that's really true, he's even more horrible than I thought. Well, never mind that for a minute. Let's get this old pot back to the peddler, shall we? He must be worried sick, poor fellow. Huh, he must be, huh? Okay, let's take it back to him. Peculiar pot. Hmm. Let's get this pot back to the before by flipping back, shall we? No, I can't get in. Nope. Sell me things. Uh, excuse me, sir. I think this belongs to you. Ah, oh, oh, indeed. You, uh, recovered it? Yes, we did. That thief got away, unfortunately, but we got your pot back for you. Curses. Uh, I mean, is that so? You have my thanks. Crikey, don't be st <laughs> Don't be b Don't go being too grateful, will ya? It's not like a slipping heavy or anything. Forgive me. It it's just that. I'm rather pleased to having finally rid of it myself. Huh? The man you chased. He is a habitual thief. He does not care what he steals. So as ever I called after him, stop thief. But when I saw what he had taken, I gave thanks to the ancients. You gave thanks for being robbed? In this instance, yes. You see, this pot, no matter how I try, it will not open. Therefore, I cannot use it to store my wares. It is no use to me. Yes, you must take it, for apprehending the thief. It is the least I could do. You're just giving it to us, just like that? Hold on a second. You just got us a... You just told us it's flipping useless, and now you're pretending pretending you're doing us a favor giving it to us. What's going on, Mon? Um, perhaps you will think of it as a souvenir of your visit to Castaway Cove, Jewel of the Seven Seas. <laughs> souvenir? A great big pot like this? Yes, a most wonderful souvenir. It is no ordinary pot after all. If the rumors are to be believed, it was once used by an ancient royal family. It has illustrial and regal history. But if that's true, we can't accept it. It's too valuable. But, but you must. I'm so grateful to you. So very grateful for your help. Think nothing of it. Go now, take it. Go, be gone. Ah, uh, okay. You said it, yes? What do you want to do? <laughs> what did you do for that for, man? What do you mean, Mr. Derby? Did I do something wrong? I mean, he looked as if he was going to cry if I didn't take it. He seemed real worried. Indeed, I was worried. Worried that you would, I think, be ungrateful. Yes, that is what I was worried about. Thank you so much. Something's funny is going on here. Come on, tell us. There's something wrong with this pot, isn't there? Oh, uh, what? Well, wrong? Why, of course not. It's simply that the lid will not open, and perhaps now and again spine chilling clatterings and then make from the. <laughs> but only every once in a while, it's nothing. Yeah. <laughs> So if the lid were open, but strange sense come from inside it. What could that be? Ah, so that's it, is it? Well, I'll be a monkey's uncle. Huh? You know why I won't open, Mr. Ripley? Nah, no, man, it'll open. You just need to know how, innit? It's a cauldron, see. Really? This is a cauldron? Wow. You know what it is? Yes, I've never seen one, but my father used to have one. All wizards have a cauldron, you see. They do? That they do, Ollie boy, and the reason it won't open is because it's sealed up tight with powerful magic. But all it needs is for a true wizard to say the magic words written in the wizard compendium and Alakazam, the little will pop off just like that. It will, huh? Oliver, you should try to open it. I should, right now? Why not, man? There's no time like the present. Go on, give it a go. Oh, okay, so the magic words are in the wizard's companion, huh? Let's take a look. Uh, you remember how to read your wizard's companion, don't you, Oliver? 
Sure, I do, Wizard. I guess open up for the main menu and start reading. Exactly. A budding wizard like you should be reading a bit of that book every day. Truth be told, anyway, you could, you could find that magic words will you will you have it about all day. Oh, but the wizard, that's kind of long. I mean, it would take a while for me to read the right word. You don't have to read the whole thing, do you? You're knocking the magic words from your alchemical culture and will be in the chapter on alchemy in it. That makes sense, I guess. I'll start looking then, huh? I, yeah. I was supposed to read this for a while now. I didn't really get any new spells, right? Uh, I don't think so. And... Familiar we got was that volcano dude. I don't know what kind of dude he was. Nope. Try to look for the big ones. Oh yeah, Molten. A fiery brute believed to be the guardian of a volcano known as Old Smoky. The mere sight of its colossal blazing body is enough to put enemies to flight. Its still more terrifying roar, meanwhile, causes the earth to crack open and release the red hot magma beneath. And what was it? This tails? I forgot what I just got. Is it this one? My other self on a hilltop? Viking for. Mm. Or was it this? This? Is he sun, the fountain, pictured? I don't remember. <laughs> okay, I know it's not the squirrels. Whatever. Uh, where's Alchemy? Bubble, bubble, oil, and blend alchemy, the wizard's friend. Alchemy. Oh, the magic words. Open sesame. <laughs> that was easy. And there's a genie inside. Find the magic words, did you, Ollie boy? Well, then, get this over before you forget the timings. And as soon as you're ready, stand in front of the cauldron and say them out loud and clear. Oh, shit. Open... Uh, say... Uh, me? Shit. Good thing I have the actual book. I could actually scroll without actually opening the thing, because that would be a pain. Okay. Good thing I bought this book. It saved me like five seconds. <laughs> it's a genie. Hmm. Alchemy genie of the cauldron. <gasps> You are very small, master. But it matters not. Your right to command me will be judged in battle. Ah, oh, shit. Huh? Well, where is it? Ah, aha, now to arms. Oh, are we gonna actually fight? <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, Here goes. Let's go. Oh. Oh shit. No, that was supposed to be for me. <laughs> okay, that's fine. I'd rather you do it. Damn. Weak. Uh oh. Yeah, Esther. Uh. <laughs> 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 
like a zone? Uh oh. Okay. Uh. Wake up! El Combo. Am I hitting his shield? Flipping heck, he's really going to try to poke you with a parasol. Now's your time to give him what's for, Ollie boy. What? Come on, go wild faster! Oh shit! Shit, shit, shit! Going wild. Oh. Holy shit, that's really strong. Uh, healing. Shit, please. Ooh. Yeah, let's go. Oh. Actually, smash it. Do. Is it gonna explode? Just defed, just defed.
Parasol, please. Why is she not alive? Uh, it did not. No, that's not all I wanted. You fed. Where could he be? <laughs> All right, let's try it again. Eighty-six? Are you kidding me? <laughs> There's not even a store to use my money on. Every match. Grab it, please. You do it. Bringing her up when I wanted to. Lot switch.
These items were faster. Are you kidding me? Is this an enraged timer?
just attack us like that. Phew, you still alright, Oliver? Oh, your name is Oliver, Master. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, most illustrious Master Oliver, your prowess in battle is unsurpassed. Graceful, fearsome, yet merciful, truly you are a master worthy of alchemy, genie of the pot. Genie? That's right, Ollie boy. Every culture has a genie inside it, see? They do what's known as alchemy for you. But they have a to test you first, to see if you're worthy in it. That's why the big red bruiser started on you. Nothing personal like, if you're after a cauldron, it's the only way. It's traditional, see? Gee, you could afford me, Mr. Trippy. Hmm. Hmm. When first I laid eyes on you, Master, your diminutive size worried me most prodigiously. But you have humbled me. You have remained minded me that a book may never be judged by its cover. No matter how unimpressive it may be. I bow to you, master. Now and forevermore. Pleased to meet you, too. Yay. We got a cauldron. Master, I must pay you tribute. Please accept these humble gifts. Bottle of pixie dew. Sour grapes. Slubber, slumber, not leaves. You must combine these items with the power of alchemy. They will produce the most wondrous and magical result. Now, Master, it seems you are still in need of instruction concerning the use of the cauldron. There are two ways to alchemize. When you possess the alchemical, al the alchemical formula of the item you desire, simply select follow the formula and you shall have it in an instant. But should you not possess the formula, you may mis select mix and match to combine ingredients to your heart's content. I pray you will produce most wondrous and magical results, Master. For your first steps on the path of this alchemist, the alchemist, I recommend that you follow a formula. Do not run before you can walk, Master. And for this, your first alchemical experiment, I present you with a formula. Behold. Yay. Well, a formula. Sprite Dew. Though technically not a Dew, this sprightly byproduct is placed with, placed with miraculous healing properties. Okay. Let's make one. Bottle of Sprite Dew. It is a success, Master. Truly a work of wonder. Your cauldron is capable of many more miracles. It can produce weapons, armor, medicines, and treasures of every kind. You must take your wizard's companion in hand and try all the alchemical arts have to offer. I will, Mr. Genie, sir. Thank you very much. I look forward most humbly to serving you, Master. Ha ha ha. There's useful, eh, Ollie boy? Now we just need to bag ourselves a boat. 
and all will be tidy. Let's go, Mr. Drippy. Oh, can do you sell stuff now? Genie in the cauldron, however, did not get inside, I wonder. Well, I'm sure you know you not concern yourself with such matters. Please peruse my wares. Yeah, it would have been nice before, you know, we fought. Uh Dagger. Several blades. No one uses axes. Oh, and these are ingredients too. It's called sickle. Bullhorn claws. Ooh. Fire seal. Fire attacks. That's cool. Okay. Uh, well, first, let me buy the weapon. I'm not gonna buy this yet. Shit. Uh oh, these are like ingredients too. Probably shouldn't sell these, but uh, I might. Do I have a, what do I have a ton of? Glow caps? I'll sell two. Just so I could buy. I'm also gonna buy again. This spear, yeah. But I need 50! Shit. So, one spring water. Give that to you. Let me equip everyone. See what everyone has. Do you upgrade? No. Do you need fire sword? Fire sword, yep. And you No, I already have a bone sword, okay. Oh yeah, let me teach you your abilities. Uh, tricks. We have light. Yeah, let's do smash it. I don't want to use this guy, but 
I don't want to replace anyone yet. So we're supposed to go there. I don't want to get these uh, Alma Moon stuff and level up <laughs> while well, I still can. So I'm going to run to Castaway Co- or Alma Moon. Fight those rainbow flower dudes. Whetstones. Come on, please don't destroy me. We're under attack. Here goes. Holy oh, shit, you're destroying me. Holy shit. have a babana. What are they called? West. Use florets. Tells a floret. Oh, those things, okay. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> if ran away, oh, there's the other one. Come on. Don't kill the floor. <gasps> Master, I'm giving my own. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> we run! But I'm gonna go back to town. Yeah, 20 guilders. <laughs> it's uh worth it.
Ooh, there's two of them. Let's go. It's a new plan. You got him. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna let them Let's do go. damage until... Get something. Okay, rainbow leaf. Whew. That's one. Here's the other one. Oh, come on. Run towards me. Please. No. <laughs> you suck. There's another one over there. There's a little sand dude. There's two. No. This way. Juke. This way. No, are you kidding me? Surprise! Ooh, that's what I wanted. Wake me up! Wake me up! Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Why didn't you wake me up? Why didn't you even pick up the blue thing? <laughs> okay, let's get this one. Ooh, there's so many of them over there. Flower, yeah. Ooh, what the hell's that? This one should be good because it should run towards me or not run at all. Double. Here we go. Here goes. Are you kidding me? Wake me up! Wake me up! Wake me up! Wake up! Wake up! Here goes. Here goes nothing. Here goes. Here goes. No. Oh, it should be fine. Nito. Hopefully. Nito. That's three. Let's go. Fulfilled it. Now we just gotta run there without dying. Let me catch this guy. Or to kill it. Exactly what I wanted. Wow, Sid. Yes, shady, shoddy, shady, shoddy. Oh, 
Oh god, I could go up there and fight those guys. But I'm gonna resist. Because I'm probably gonna die. the safest route. Holy shit. This guy just came out of nowhere. That too. We're, being, we're under attack. This one is gonna be... get anything for like extras. It's a cauldron, is it not? Yeah, that's right. Hey, so you must be a wizard. Cry, Kate. Sounds like the little girl knows a thing or two about wizarding all about. I do. I read my wizarding book every day. I know all about wizards and spells they cast. But the spells they are not my favorite thing about wizards is alchemy all of the most. I read the wizards can make almost anything by mixing materials and clothes. Is it true? Sure is. Actually, it's actually pretty easy if you have the right ingredient. Easy for one such as you, I think. Ah, but a being wizard must be wonderful. Would you, would you show me how? Candle cutter. Sure. I heard that candle cutters can only be made using alchemical methods. I would dearly love to see one myself. Okay, young girl in Castaway Cove has read about alchemy in a book. Would like to see some. Oh, wonderful! I do not think I've ever been excited now. Candle cutter, you need a flint dagger and an ember stone. For being hack, you don't, you don't have no ears. He hits all my book. All right, I shall wait for you here. Please hurry. I'm very excited. I already forgot what is a candle cutter and a what. Candle cutter. What did she say? Uh. Telling stone. Tell me what she just said. Journal. What did she just 
sorry. Here. Brought you those rainbow leaves. Do you want it? Yes, yes, these are perfect, I think. You have done the world of fashion a great service here. So, can you make that swimsuit now? Can, most certainly, I can. You are hereby witnessing the birth of a new and exceedingly important trend. Your role and the realization shall not be forgotten, of course. Please accept this token of gratitude and do not forget me when you have need of a design. 400 guilders! Yeah. One more with us? Nah, oh, damn it. Okay. I was gonna end it, but I just got this quest, so. Handle cutter. Mm, no formula. Shit. What was it? Flint dagger. And do we have a firestone or something? Oh my god! I got this. I just got this. <laughs> no way. We're back. We brought you a candle cutter. Oh, wonderful. Simply wonderful. Something a magnificent created from such simple materials. I can hardly believe it. Well, you better believe it. Wizards like Ollie Boy could do all sorts of a basic stuff. Oh, I do love alchemy. So, how I wish I would become a wizard like you. Oh, perhaps I should give you something to thank you for showing me the candle cutter. Please take this. Two whetstones. Oh. Yay. These are all sorts of formula in my wizard book. I could teach you some of them, perhaps. Some new alchemy formula. Go to the cauldron to try them out. Follow formula. Sprite do. Candle cutter. Holy shit, we get to keep it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Shadow glass. Flint dagger. Sickle. Raw steel. No one uses axes. Uh, Jamal uses claws. Ooh, armor. Simple. A piece of supple leather. Skill. Strippy. Cloak. Hey, we could make this. Mm, we don't have one. Breezy cloak. Poison thing. Use familiar stamina. Holy shit, so many. Oh, it's all. Okay. Let's try the stripey cloak. Let's mix and match. Let's just randomly make something. With. What do I have a lot of? This. And this. Let's go. <laughs> Do I lose the items? I don't remember. Uh, editor, you could rewind, and editor Lux will figure it out in the future. Um, what else? Oh yeah. Uh, let's go to here. So solutions. Yeah, uh, my rewards, finally. Make it easier to sneak up on enemies from behind. Yeah. Well, I don't get new things. People with more troubles, check it. Okay, there's no, no more new stuff. Bounty hunts, are there any new? Nope. Wait a minute. Sacred dagger. Alright. Guess I gotta go to the next board. Hopefully. And let's buy stuff. T uh, burn my money. This one's really good. Oh. It's really good, but nobody could use it, so nobody should get it. And. 
fire seal. Oh, these are for the thing. I will buy one of each of these. And whatever money I have left. I have zero of these. Is anything an upgrade for anyone? So I could... Yeah, I'll just buy him. And... Any of these I could buy. with something. I'll read the book later, but since I have so many chocolates. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he's full. Alright guys, I'll end the episode here, and then next time we'll go over there and get a boat <laughs> over there. Thanks for watching, see ya. Bye!